Hello, and thank you for your interest in the NMR Ready 60 Benchtop Spectrometer. My name is Matt LeClaire, and I'm an application chemist at Nanalysis. Today, I'll be teaching you how to access and control the spectrometer remotely, which can be very convenient for enabling work outside of the lab or for controlling an instrument directly connected to a computer for additional capabilities. Using screen sharing, the instrument can be accessed from a computer, tablet, or smartphone, provided that these have been properly set up. In this video, I'll discuss how to connect to the spectrometer using a PC. There are two main scenarios to cover on this topic. One where the spectrometer has access to a local area network or LAN connection, and one where it doesn't. Let's start with the first, where an instrument has LAN access. First, it's important to confirm that both the spectrometer and computer used to control it have a working network connection. If possible, an Ethernet connection is preferred. For this, we will be using the VNC protocol, and this tutorial will require the use of the Ultra VNC software, available from the following website. Please feel free to pause the video while you download and install the software. Note that a screen resolution of at least 1024 by 768 and Windows 8 at a minimum is required to properly connect to the spectrometer. Once everything is ready, take the instrument off standby mode and navigate to Setup, System, Network, and Remote. From this screen, enable the VNC connection and enter your own password if preferred. If the VNC option is not enabled at this time on your spectrometer, please feel free to check this box and enable it. Checking the Show box will allow you to see the current password which will be used to connect to the instrument using Ultra VNC shortly. From this screen, navigate to the Network Information tab and write down the instrument's IP address. From the computer, open Ultra VNC and enter the instrument's IP address as the host in this box up here. Click on the Connect button and enter the password you selected earlier for the instrument when it prompts you. At this time, you'll be able to view and control the spectrometer screen. You can now control the instrument as you normally would. Once you are done, simply click the Close Connection button within Ultra VNC to terminate the connection. If the instrument does not have access to a LAN connection, the steps are a little different. Start by making sure that the computer is not connected to any networks and turn off Wi-Fi. Connect the computer directly to the spectrometer using an Ethernet cable, not a crossover cable. On your PC, navigate to Settings, Network and Internet, and then Change Adapter Options. Right-click on the local area connection associated with the Ethernet cable that was plugged in and select Properties. Note that I'm not currently connected directly to the spectrometer, so this doesn't show that it's connected, but it will be this ethernet cable connection here. So right click, properties, select internet protocol version four or IPv4, and then click on properties. If there's an existing IP address here, please write it down in case you need it later. For now, we're going to click on use the following IP address. And for IP address, we're going to enter 10.0.0.2. For the subnet mask, we'll enter 255.255.255.0. And for the default gateway, we're going to enter 10.0.0.1. Now press OK. Close, and you can close these windows. On the instrument, Navigate to Setup, System, Network, and Configuration, and uncheck this DHCP box. Manually set the IP address to 10.0.0.3, the subnet mask as 255.255.255.0, the gateway to 10.0.0.1, .0 .0 
and the DNS servers to 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Click on Apply Settings, and then Done. Note that I won't be clicking on Apply in this scenario because I'm not connected directly to the spectrometer. But in a situation where you would be, you would click Apply, Done, and that's it. From this screen, you would navigate to Remote and make sure that the VNC connection is enabled, just like we did in the first scenario with LAN access. At this point, the steps to gain access to the spectrometer using the Ultra VNC software are identical to the ones used in the previous scenario. Note that without a LAN connection, you will not be able to access the instrument without being directly connected to it. However, this does allow you to make use of the computer's full capabilities, such as for screen recording or to stream the instrument screen to a large audience using a projector, for example. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions about accessing the NMR Ready 60 spectrometer remotely. We would be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching and have a great day.